Okay, I am talking about uh, growth rings right now. And what we're looking at here is an oak. This is uh, the Oregon white oak, uh, Quercus gariana. And so this grew in Western Oregon at about, let's say 350 feet in elevation. And you can see the ray right here. And another ray here. And um, see the large holes right here. This is the spring wood. So the, the tree is growing very rapidly right here. Then spring ends and summer begins. And the, the wood is a lot denser as time goes on. Then it loses its leaves in the spring. It happens the next year. So anyway, you can see by the size of my probe here, uh, more or less the size. And so different different years have different um, thicknesses. And usually when the tree is younger, like that was a weird year, um, usually when the tree is younger, it's more out in the, out in the sun. So, uh, but anyway, Western Oregon has distinct seasonality, but nothing like uh, Colorado. Um, and so, comparison and contrast. This is, if I can get it in focus. This is Quercus virginiana, and it is from Sarasota, which is slightly above sea level, let's say. Um, but also it's, it's um, um, well, actually it's much darker because it's been sitting in a bog. Um, but anyway, you can see there's some uh, vascular element, elements here, the xylem specifically, this whole thing is xylem, um, which is basically wood. Um, so these, this is the tissue that draws water and nutrients up from the bottom, from the uh, roots. Um, and in this case, you can see the rays here, which transport um, material um, generally to the hardwood. But um, anyway, you can see not, um, there's not much difference, uh, even though this is um, an evergreen oak. Um, in the subtropical area, let's say, because um, it has palm trees and all that sort of stuff, so it's fairly subtropical, so there's really um, no reason that it should have a lot of strong seasonality, but there is wet and dry season, so, and these poor little trees um, often sat in water during the summer, and I'm sure a couple of hurricanes blew the ocean uh, across them, but regardless, um, you can see there's um, not a lot of distinct seasonality, and I think part of that is the evergreenness. So tropical trees will do the same sort of pattern. So I mean, this, of course, is not a tropical tree, which I tend to think Virginiana kind of is. So anyway, this is Quercus scumbellii, and I is a little stump that I cut and then I did a little bit of polishing um, but anyway you can see right there that was a terrible year um, but the spring wood and the harder summer wood but you can see how tiny the growth rings are it still has rays certainly it's still an oak and this is actually a white oak too so this is actually related somewhat to the Oregon white oak. Um, Quercus alba, I think, is closer, the next closest relative to this tree. But anyway, this poor little thing, uh, inch and a half or so, uh, 50, 52 years I counted here. And so that is absolutely amazing when you compare these. Um, so I had to do that under compound microscope to do the 
the counties. So um, these, it is a very harsh environment here. And um, the fact that we got a little snowy in June uh, melted soon after is an example. But anyway, so when you see these poor little gnarled trees up here in uh, your way, um, that's what's going on there, struggling um, with the uh, uh, climate. So anyway, I, I do wonder what this would look like in, a, uh, in my older climate. So I don't think this particular oak, uh, Gambellii, necessarily inhabits. It's pretty much of a southwest mountain sort of thing. Um, but anyway, there you go. Some about uh, growth rings.